In this video, I will teach you how to bang hammer din. Or I mean, in this video I will teach you how to play a hammer din, featuring bang. Oh my god, that's clean. Oh, so clean. Yo, I wanted to put together a bit of a, a hammer din video here. I've been having fun recently uh, with, with my hammer din. Uh, so I feel like a video was, was kind of warranted. Alright, let's go over the basic items here. So we've got obviously Hodo, COA, a 220, a uh, pallet amulet to hit the BP, spirit, water walks for dex and life, as well as fire res, a 10 faster cast, and then ideally strength, dex, uh, life res if you can get one, enigma obviously, dungo, you'll be able to swap out Arak or T God, Raven Frost so that you can smite properly, and then tranks. Got your torch, any, all your small charms, and then P combats. Not uh, really any life will work. I use a cube always because in pubs you just want to, I like field cubing. So I keep champs, Shaco, uh, T gods, Iraq, a lightning and fire stack, ring, dwarf star, a 40 life, uh, 220 for like neck duels, and then I got a fire stack and light stack. Um, Amulet as well, which still hits the BP with a rack. Alright, obviously it's a hammer, so Blessed Hammer is 20, and then you have the, the synergies as well. So you've got Blessed Aim, Conk, uh, which is going to help the hammers hit your 13k. One into Fanat for your smite speed, and Max Viger as well. You want to get one in Foe. Foe is only used for stunning, not for damage, unless they're 1 HP. Uh, one in Holy Shield, one in Charge, and I personally put the rest of my points in Smite for the longer uh, stun duration. So when it's BO'd, I get 7.8 uh, stun length or swirl on their head at level 96. So going over skill allocation, on the left hand side I do Smite, Charge, Hammer, Bow, I know some people want right side, so it's up to you, it's preference. I personally have been taught how to do it on left, so that's what I'm used to. Uh, and throw as well. On the right side you have your auras, teleport obviously, your uh, your oak, uh, and your holy shield, obviously your, your BO as well. So the strength of a, of a hammered in obviously comes from the ability to combo, so you know, you're gonna smite them. To apply the swirly, you're going to bow them to apply the stun, and then you're going to stomp them and get a hammer off before they can recover from all of that, and then repeat the cycle or continue hammering depending on if they stand still, right? So that's sort of the, the end goal. But let's start with the, the basics. So concentrate uh, is what gives hammer the huge damage, that's, that's obvious by now. So always have that up. And you have to be holding shift to spin the hammer. So if you just hold shift and then uh, spin, you can see obviously that <laughs> the hammers are spinning. So if you don't have conk up, hammers are way less. So every time you stomp someone or you're spinning a hammer, make sure you're pushing the keys together. So every time you land, it's, it's shift, hammer, conk, shift, hammer, conk, all at the same time. Every time you land uh, to do something. Okay. So the next part uh, of the combo uh, key combinations is Smite and Fanaticism. The reason why we do Fanaticism is because look at the speed difference between say Teleport and Smite with, uh, with the Aura on. So when you Smite someone you're going to be applying the Swirly or the Swirl. This is, th this is what we want and this is what enables us to do a combination. So as soon as you Swirl someone then the next damage they take, i.e. Uh, Fist of Heavens, it's going to put them into FHR uh, recovery. So they're going to do a, you know, a stun. So uh, as an example, let's just watch watch the zombie. Uh, see how he did the, the motion backwards? That's the stun. And that's the small window you have to stomp them with a hammer. Okay, the last key combinations is going to be your foe and your teleport key. This is going to be used once you've applied a swirl to someone. So I'm just going to apply the swirl it's above his head, and then you're going to foe him once. 
Oops, alt. And stomp. Okay, now that you do have to wait just a tiny bit so that you can stomp him. Okay, I'm gonna do it really fast, so I'm just gonna like full instantly and try and teleport. See on my, my mouse UI, it doesn't actually proc. Okay, so you have to just wait a second and then it'll stomp. It's like that. So we just wanna apply the swirly and then instantly fall. Okay, so let's do let's do it properly. So have your fanaticism and smite up and then you're gonna switch to foe instantly. Just like that. Okay, so smite foe. Make sure you push everything in tandem. Okay. Smite foe. You can see on my UI that my, my mouse one doesn't get uh, let go because I'm smiting on the left. Smite. Everything's in tandem, okay? That way you can teleport right away. Okay, so there's the whole combo. Smite, oh, teleport. You land on them. Okay, now putting this whole thing together with um, the smite and foe is you have to land on them and shift hammer conk, okay? So I'll try and do this on a, on a monster. So smite, bow, land, hammer. And if you do it properly and quick enough, they can't escape it uh, if they do a teleport uh, and, and you get a free hit. Now, with the immunity, they can, they can teleport away after a single hammer. So if you can hammer someone twice, just realize that they misplayed and you either caught them by surprise, which is good on you because it was a nice lock, or they just didn't realize that they could teleport again. So always try and think that you can only get a single hammer off on someone before they teleport again. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna go over uh, is using throw lock as a hammer. So as I mentioned before, you can lock with hammers, right? So you can lock the guy with a hammer, but how do you turn this into a stomp? If you hold teleport and try and go, see on my mouse UI that I tried to hit a F, uh, mouse two and it didn't proc. So how you overcome that is by changing your hammer key to throw and then you're able to teleport. So I'll show you here. So tandem, conk and hammer, okay? And then throw and uh, teleport. So throw and teleport, foe and teleport are the two keys that you wanna, you wanna do. So lock the person who you want, throw and teleport, and then you can stomp. So when you're throw locking, you have to wait a second before you try and teleport off uh, a hammer lock. So if you do it, try and if you do it really slow, okay. So teleport and then throw, and then you you can land, okay. If you do it too quickly, it won't work. So uh, I'll do it. Try and try and do it really fast here. Okay. See how I, I'm still locked, and I tried to to do it on my mouse UI. Okay. So I'll try uh, again here. So. See how it doesn't work, but if I wait a second, then you can stop. So it's a bit of a timing thing. So there, I tried to do it quick, too quickly. There's, there's a good timing. Okay. Here's a really fast one. Doesn't work. Here's a really slow one. That works. Here's one in the middle. That works. Okay. So when you're locking someone or chaining someone, uh, it's a bit risky because you have a bit of delay there. Um, but they, they generally don't suspect it. So it's quite sneaky. Alright, so that's how you play Hammered in, in a nutshell, right? So, go ahead, have fun. Enjoy. Ah, let's look at some clips and I'll, uh, I'll try and break them down. Alright, so let's look at one of my favorite clips from my upcoming video, uh, Bang Volume 4. Um, one against this sorceress called Fallen, who actually helped me out with another training video. Uh, so, uh, unbeknownst to him, he's helping out again here. So, uh, the, the trick with dealing with sorceresses is you want to chase them with smite because you need to get the combo off. You're not going to kill them in one hammers or two hammers. So, always chase with smite where possible. So, you want to land and smite to start the combo. Alright, so you're chasing a smite here on this guy. Okay. At this point here, just saw, he just shot a fireball one way. I landed really close. My mouse placement was perfect. 
So I know this smite is going to hit and connect, which means I can combo effectively. So smite's going to proc, and I'm almost going to like pre-fire the, the foe here. Okay. So see how I've hit him already once and I've already switched to foe and teleport? And watch my mouse. My mouse 1 is pressed down still. So the foe is going to proc and then I'm going to tap mouse 2. And then I'm going to switch back to hammer and smite. Okay, so now I'm already hammered when I landed. He's going to stay stunned. And then I'm going to continue this combo. So this is the kind of advanced aspect of, of this duel. So I mentioned earlier in the video that you can only get one hammer off. So if you can land and uh, lock with hammer, you can switch to foe after a single hammer and then teleport again. Now in this case, I have a bit of a habit and kind of trying to break it where I do foe lock and then teleport because I'm so used to doing hammer throw teleport. So it's going to be foe and then the unnecessary lock and then stomp and then hammer again. There's the foe. <clears throat> I haven't switched to teleport yet. It's coming. There's the throw and teleport. And as soon as I land, I'm going to be, I'm already, look, I've already switched. It's funny, breaking this down slowly. Uh, I've already switched to hammer and conk and then you're landing. So again, you landed. So now the combo restarts. So switch to your foe, then probably unnecessary lock or throw lock again, then teleport. Yep, there it is again. Okay, the third combo and conk and hammer. Oh my god, that's clean. It's dead. Oh, so clean. So clean. There we go. And that's why it's uh, that's why it's the first clip of my video because for me three combos in a row is is, is fucking hard. <laughs> Hopefully that tutorial video showed you something. Um, Emerton is by far the hardest character that I've played, so don't expect it to just magically work. Um, just remember the key things is skills are always in tandem, that's why the keys are, are pretty much together. So conk and hammer, banat and smite, bow and teleport, throw and teleport. Um, and uh, just remember that you're really only going to get one hammer off. If you get more than one, the other person misplayed. Um, so the more you practice the combo of, you know, post might tell you blah, 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 uh, the better. So if you have any questions, post comments, PM me on Discord, catch me with them live, and I can likely show you something uh, on stream right away and break it down as well. So hopefully this was helpful. And... Uh, Catch volume four coming out soon. If not, it's already out, depending on when you're uh, watching this video. Cheers.